I'm Yana Shengyuar, and in this tutorial, I'm going to answer one of your most burning questions, and, how, and that question is, how do we edit the starting cache in General's Challenge? We could do it in Skirmish, but how do we do it in General's Challenge? So first and foremost, we're going to need to extract some maps from our maps zero hour dot big, and specifically, we're going to look for all the maps that have a GC at the start, and we're just going to extract all of them. Alright, now that you extracted them, we are going to now open up World Builder. And that's very important because remember, World Builder is our debugger and it's also our map maker. So let's go see what that looks like. Now you will get these, uh, these little pop ups because the game does have bugs in it even in the beginning. So we just ignore those and you can debug them later. And this may take a few seconds to load up, but let's uh, skip ahead, future Sienis. Let's uh, do that. Now we are going to go to File, Open, and we can st stick with System Maths, or we can go to Browse if you have it in a different folder that is not your directory. But we're going to go down, and as you can see, we have these maps with a GC, which stands for General Challenge, and then we have the underscore and the various general. So as you probably noticed, that all of the generals have the same exact map, and you are just a different general in that map. And that's true. So what that means is, and so we got to keep this part in mind, is that the game's campaign and the general challenge is exactly the same exact process. In fact, that's the same exact process as Skirmish. The specific difference is, though, is that single-player maps, such as the campaign for USA, China, GLA, and General's challenges are heavily scripted to be more choreographed. So in example number one, I'm gonna use the boss general as our example, and we are gonna to go to edit, scripts, and this can be a different on the different maps, but basically you go down to the player and you can find it there pretty much under difficulty adjustments. It's a similar idea, it would just be like difficulty or just adjustments or something like that. And I'll show you a few other examples too. And then you can just go down here and as you can see, different things are removed and added or rather just removed. But then you come down here and you see the money supply. As you can see, it's for E, N, and H. That's easy, normal, and hard. And so if we look at this code right here, you can see that there's a warehouse with a specific name, and that specific name has a specific value for its uh, boxes in dollars. And as you can see, it changes based on easy, normal, and hard. Well, easy has an extreme difference between normal and easy. Wow! But as you can see, hard is uh, like that. And then what you do is you go over here to edit, and then actions if true. And as you can see, you have the player, which is going to be you. You go to edit, and you go down here, you see, set player, the, the player, money to 10,000. You just click that and change it to whatever you would like. And it's that simple. The tank general, you can find it in player bonuses, and that sets the money for the player for starting, including a supply box bonus when you... Uh, and here's another example for the air general. It is additional starting money. Remember, you just go to edit and actions if true, edit, and then just change the integer there. And make sure you save everything. Just hit OK for everything. Go to file, save, and you should have higher starting cash now. Thank you for joining me. And if you have any other questions or curiosities, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. So maybe I'll see you at the Discord. Maybe I'll see you in the comments section. Remember, I also have a Facebook group and a Facebook page now. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Little did he know.